Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Tee It Up Grand Strand. I'm your host Shan Coughlin out here at the beautiful Tidewater Golf Course with Mr. Chris Cooper. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you Shan? Well, really good since we're out here. We are in the sunshine and standing on the tee box of a beautiful hole while we're not playing. I'm not quite sure. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, <laughs> uh, it is, it's a pretty day and uh, it's always pretty at Tidewater. It is always pretty here. Now, we'll say the wind is kicking up a little bit. It is December, right. but as folks can see in the background, lots of people out here playing, enjoying themselves. And who wouldn't, right? We're right. in Myrtle Beach. Yeah, we're in Myrtle Beach. It's, uh, you're, you're right. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day, and uh, it's crisp this morning, but mm -hmm. uh, you can see the golf course is full. The mm -hmm. tee sheet was full today. That's awesome. So uh, we're still playing golf here, even in December. Well, I tell you, that's important for folks to know because obviously we've had some national headlines about our weather. Gosh, you, you guys had 21 inches in one weekend. That's right. And we're on the fairways within a week, though. That's the part we got to get out there. That's right. Well, I mean, our golf course uh, did well. We didn't have any, any damage here to speak of. A lot of rain, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, none to the golf course. And like you said, we were riding the paths for uh, the first few days, but within a week we were off. Uh, you can see we've overseed of the golf course we're just now getting ready to mow it so we're going to get those big those pretty stripes that everybody <laughs> likes here soon that's awesome and on this tee box this is uh which hole let's let everyone know which hole we're on and we're also right on the marsh that's right well you got the cherry grove uh, salt marsh over here to your left mm -hmm. uh this is number three it's one of uh our one of our beautiful all, all, there are tons of beautiful holes right right, right. I and mean, we've got three here 12 going the other way which is another par three but this is a little short par three with a three-tiered green a lot of bunkers, the Cherry Grove salt marsh over here to your left. A uh, little wind today, right. and uh, we're watching guys tee off here. Some guys are having a little <laughs> trouble with it, but uh, a pretty hole, a uh, lot of pretty holes out here, though. Yeah. I tell you, Tidewater is one of the best. You're part of uh, what's called Myrtle Beach Best if yeah. folks are looking for a golf package, and so I highly recommend you know folks looking at that when if you're coming down here to play more than once. But you know, winter we're in winter golf season, such a great value. Mm -hmm. And even though you guys are full today, still some tea times to be had. Where should folks look if they want to get more information about Tidewater? Well, I mean, we we like you just to go to our website. It's it's really mm -hmm. easy to follow. Uh, and uh, you can see all the beautiful holes on there, too. Yeah. You can just go and look it up. But it's uh, it's www.tidewatergolf.com. Okay, so do you have a favorite hole out here? <laughs> uh, you know, there are a lot of them. Uh, I, I really like uh, this whole little area here. Uh, you've got three and four going this direction. And then on the other side here, number 12 and number 13, which is what I call our signature corner, really. Okay. Uh, but our signature hole, I, I guess the one you see on TV a lot, is number 12, the, the long par 3 over here, mm -hmm. and then uh, number 13, uh, the long par 5, which actually has uh, a view of the Atlantic Ocean. When you're standing on that green, you can see the ocean behind the green. That's awesome. And, folks, I'm going to point out, many of you may be listening to us on one of the radio apps, and we certainly appreciate that, but you are going to want to head over to thegolfdirector.com, click on Streaming Media, or you can go to our YouTube channel at The Golf Director and look up the Tidewater December update because what we are standing on and looking at and showing is absolutely <laughs> breathtaking. Um, with the saltwater marsh out here, we've got some hotels in the distance, um, vacation homes, and, and people actually get to live there full time. Oh, it's, just, it's just a beautiful area. I mean, if you haven't been here, you really need to come just to see it. Uh, and so you guys, coming out of fall golf, moving into winter golf, mm -hmm. um, people are starting to book for their spring packages. Mm -hmm. uh, where, where, what's the biggest question you get? What are golfers asking you right now about, you know, the rest of winter golf season and spring season coming up? Well, I mean, uh, you know, we put in new greens not this past year. But the summer before mm -hmm. and people are uh, wanting to know hey you know how that how did it do you mm -hmm. know and you had the bad weather in october right. you know how's the golf course look but uh we are we were just looking at it today we are uh way ahead of our bookings right now mm -hmm. uh same time this year mm -hmm. ahead in april already wow so people are coming back and we're happy to have them and this golf course is going to be fantastic in the spring well i always say that golf is played worldwide but is a very small community and right. word gets out and you brought up a good point whenever a golf course puts in new greens mm -hmm. uh, maybe because they've had an issue in the That's past right. word gets out and it takes a little while so the fact that everyone's coming back in droves they that are. says a lot they are now, we, what kind of greens did y'all put in? Mini Verde. Uh, okay. We were uh, we're excited about them too. They're uh, they're fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, they're they're really firm. They're they're really fast. Uh, Tidewater is a te good test of golf, mm -hmm. but uh, we knew if we put in new greens that the people would come back. And uh, you know, it, it's just been it's just been phenomenal, really. Uh, starting 
uh, last spring we saw our bookings rise, and then throughout the entire year we've just played more and more and more and more. So we're uh, we're really looking forward to uh, next spring. I bet, and you can see folks one right here in the background that three-tiered green i won't say tidewater is the easiest course on the grand strand but right. certainly one of the most beautiful uh, but you also have sets of tees for everybody and i think it's important it's true. when folks are playing a course on vacation or something they haven't played before to really look at the yardage and play the appropriate tees so they can have a more enjoyable round are you seeing people teeing it forward we are yeah we have uh we actually have um Five sets of tees, mm -hmm. but we actually made another set of tees that we that we use our combo tees for our members. So they play some holes, the harder holes from the the uh, senior tees, and then some of the easier holes from uh, from our, our regular member tees, our white tees. So we actually have five sets of tees, but we combine two in the middle there to make it even shorter. So you can play our golf course anywhere from 5,700 yards for men all the way to 7,000 if you want that true test. Wow, and we only recommend that for the single digits, That's, though, right? Without a doubt. <laughs> I don't even play there anymore. I don't even play there anymore. Well, Chris, thank you so much for having us out, showing us your part of your beautiful course, and I will look forward to coming back and showing everyone out there more of it over the next year or so. Th thanks so much for having me. All right, folks, this edition of Teed Up Grand Strand out here at the beautiful Tidewater Golf Club has been produced and broadcast by the Zeus Media Network for thegolfdirector.com.